Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The Voice Australia judge Adam Lambert has revealed what he really thinks about the reality show ahead of its season 13 premiere. The Grammy Award-winning singer, 42, has joined the cast of the singing show, alongside Leanne Rimes, 41, Kate miller Heidke, 42, and Guy Sebastian, 42. Adam, Leanne and Kate have replaced outgoing judges Rita Ora, Jessica Mauboy and Jason Derulo for the 2024 season. Speaking to Perth now, he admitted that while he sometimes gets flashbacks to his days as a contestant on the 2009 season of American Idol, the differing formats of the two shows is what drew him down under. The format is a bit different to American Idol that I was on, but I love that we get to mentor people and put together a team, he told the publication. I think that's what drew me to this in the first place, the chance to get to help, give them some helpful criticism and encouragement, it's an exciting creative process. Adam also admitted that he has been blown away by the considerable depth of talent on display in the upcoming season. It's surpassed any expectation I had. The talent is really, really great, Adam said. There are different styles of singers and something for everybody. I know that sounds like a generic pitch, but there really is. We have singers doing contemporary pop songs, country, and soul. After rising to fame as the runner-up on the 2009 season of American Idol, Adam launched a successful solo career with his Billboard No. 3 debut album For Your Entertainment. He then took over from Freddie Mercury as the frontman for British Rockers Queen in 2011. Yahoo Lifestyle recently claimed that the reason for the change in judges for The Voice Australia 2024 was the star's paychecks and a desire from producers to keep costs down. The decision was made last year and the casting team were looking for quite some time, an industry insider told the publication. The insider added that salary increases are necessary to keep returning stars on the show and the price tag for the former crop was too expensive. The company line was that Jessica, Rita and Jason were all too busy, but I don't think anyone is too busy to pick up these sorts of paychecks. It certainly did have a lot to do with keeping the costs down. With former configurations of coaches being praised for their on-screen chemistry and diversity, the insider added that Channel 7 executives were nervous about the new lineup. They claimed that the network was worried when Keith Urban departed the show in 2022, adding the success of the show proved they had found the right replacement. Jason was a big risk in 2023 and Channel 7 knew that if he worked on the show his management was going to ask for a much higher figure to come back this year, which in the end was obviously too expensive, the source told the publication.